It looks like Japan came across some extraordinary luck or made their own extraordinary luck because they sought out and found 6.8 million metric tons of rare earth elements in an island off the Pacific. Um, very remote island actually too. It's uh, over here. It's, it's otherwise we would know it as um, Marcus Island. It's Minami Torishima, a very small island, located about 1,250 miles southeast of Tokyo. You see it's over here. This is Okinawa. This is Tokyo. And you can see why he's probably a little bit off the map, but it's out there in the middle of nowhere. And the deposits are located very deep with, under the ocean. Um, it found a very large deposit of rare earth minerals in its Pacific seabed, which is enough to supply its high-tech industries for more than 200 years. Now, this was a major point of contention between Japan and China, basically just even less than a couple years ago, because China was producing about 90-95% of the rare earths in the world, and they said they were just going to use them for their own production and not export anywhere near what they were going to do. Uh, so that would put a big hampering on uh, Japan's industry and especially a large amount of diprosium I think that's how you say it, a rare earth metal used in engines for hybrid cars basically the magnetic motors was also found that could supply Japan for over 400 years uh, what's interesting about this metal is this was noted as for the last few years as being the Achilles heel of the hybrid cars, the electric vehicles, wind turbines and everything they're wondering how they're going to get enough of this stuff. The, but the deposits are located three and a half miles down on the seabed and they'll be used, uh, they'll be extracted using oil technology within three to five years. They're going to start extracting the mud in a few years and they'll be actually producing the metals within five. Um, Diprosium, I think that's how you say that, it comes from the Greek word diprositos, which means hard to get at. Um, so they just they just found this metal not that long ago, but they named it after a Greek word, hard to get at. It doesn't occur by itself, so you have to um, uh, extract it from a, another metals group. Diprosium is a bright silver in color. It's soft enough to be cut with a knife. Cost actually was brought down quite a bit uh, to uh, three hundred dollars a kilogram, but it was up there for a real while for a while because China produces ninety five percent of the world's supply of rare earth metal. Diprosium vital for magnets and the drive motors for hybrid electric vehicles. Up to a hundred grams of diprosium per hybrid car is produced. It's considered the Achilles heel of hybrid cars, electric vehicles, and wind turbine designs. So it's a good damn thing they found this stuff because um, this is one of the big drawbacks because we're going to start seeing a lot of problems with the um, oil industry and things. So, I mean, it's not going to, we're not going to be off of oil like right away. It's going to go in steps. It's probably going to, the obvious step is going to be the hybrid vehicles. But all the hybrid vehicles are going to contain electric motors too. And uh, they're going to be using a lot more of this rare earth. Japan obviously is one of the leaders. If I would say they are the leader. They're ahead of China. Um, I suspect sometimes, I'm going to add lib here a little bit, I su suspect sometimes that there's such competition within this type of industry that people will do things to just slam people down. And you know, I've always had a little suspicion at the about the uh, Japanese tsunami and earthquake too. I just wonder. I just wonder sometimes. You know, when they're doing very good, just knock them down. That's what it seemed to be. And I'm going to add, add that in here at the end. Maybe that's too controversial, but uh, I'm glad they found these deposits, and uh, it's going to put them on a road to independence. Something the New World Order doesn't like. I'll add that in there too. But uh, I think that's one of the things that um, the global. Uh, powers that be don't like about Japan. They're strong and they're independent and they're proud. And uh, I think this is a very good nation. I'm glad they found this stuff. So a lot of products will be coming out to benefit mankind that are clean energy, clean transportation. Uh, and you know, not just, like I said, not just uh, clean transportation, but the wind turbines. 
uh, that could be produced to uh, you know power local areas that are remote and things like that so this is going to have a number of uses I think it's a fantastic find it's enough to last him 200 years and in the case of Dysprosium 400 years